An integer partition of an integer n is a list of integers l1, l2, up to lk, satisfying the properties that n is the sum of the integers in the list, and the integers in the list are weakly decreasing and greater than or equal to 1. The elements in the list are called parts. For example, the list 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 is an integer partition of 11, because 11 is equal to 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. This is a partition of 11 into 5 parts. The Young diagram of a partition is an array of boxes with li boxes in row i. So for example, the Young diagram of the partition 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 is pictured here because there are 4 boxes in the first row, then 3, then 2, then 1, and then 1. Let's let p of n be the number of integer partitions of n, and p sub k of n be the number of integer partitions of n with k parts. If we're trying to compute p of n, we can list out all of the Young diagrams for n. In this case, we have n is 9, and here are all the partitions. A natural way to organize the partitions is to group them together with other partitions with the same number of parts, as we've done here. The smallest number of parts a partition can have is 1, and the largest number of parts it can have is n, where each part has size 1. This visual shows us that the number of partitions of n is equal to the sum of the number of partitions of n into k parts, where k ranges from 1 to n. Now we can present our primary result about the number of partitions of n into k parts. If we have all the partitions of n into k parts, we can divide these into two disjoint sets. The first set are the partitions that have a part of size 1, and the second set consists of the partitions with no part of size 1. The partitions that have a part of size 1 are in one-to-one -one correspondence with those partitions where we remove one of the parts of size 1. But these partitions are just the partitions of n-1 into k-1 parts, so we can count them using p sub k-1 of n-1. For each of the partitions that have no part of size 1, we can remove one from each part resulting in a partition of n minus k into k parts. These can be counted by p sub k of n minus k. Both of these processes are reversible, and because the two sets have no elements in common, we see that p sub k of n is equal to p sub k minus 1 of n minus 1 plus p sub k of n minus k. This is a recursive formula for p sub k of n, the number of partitions of n into k parts. We now see that we do not need to enumerate all of the partitions to know how many there are. Instead, we can use the two formulas that we just encountered to find the number of partitions of size n. Namely, we can realize that the number of partitions of n is equal to the sum of the number of partitions of n into k parts, where k ranges from 1 to n, and that the number of partitions of n into k parts satisfies the recursion given here. Of course, this is only one such technique to count the number of partitions of n. Can you think of a different way to count them? 